Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am a reseller and this is my cat Cosmo and he's lazy. He's a freeloader. <laughs> he's probably going to run in just a minute, but I'm here with a Goodwill outlet haul and this is, I think, what, day four of my reseller haul videos. I went to the bins every single day last week and I've been hauling them for the past three days. Oh, <laughs> so I have a box down here and my other cat just jumped in the box. Oh my goodness. You can't make this stuff up. They are obsessed with boxes. Okay. So while my cats act like cats, I am going to show you the things that there he goes. He's a goner. I knew he wasn't going to last long. I'm going to show you my haul, um, for day four of going to the bins every day. Um, I just completed my second whatnot show. And I think it went fairly well. It didn't go as well as my vintage show. My vintage show, um, I sold about like 80% of the things. In my plus size show, I'd say I said about I sold about like 40% of my items, which is fine because, like I said, everything I got are things that I would actually resell myself. So that's fine. I'll just list those things myself. Um, but anyway, today I have a haul of my theme for this show on whatnot or this haul is um like athletic athleisure comfy cozy around the house type clothes there may be things that don't perfectly fit in that category but i had to categorize everything one way or another so that's what i did all right leanne you got to get out of my box this is where i'm gonna put the clothes after i haul it and you can't be in there because then i'll throw clothes on top of you he's so silly all right bye leanne you got two cats in one video there you have it okay speaking of cats this first item I picked up was Because Cats. Actually, my bins buddy gave this to me because she knows I'm obsessed with cat stuff. Um, and actually, my bins buddy is also selling on Whatnot. I'll link her um, Whatnot show down below if you're interested. Um, anyway, this is Bob's. It's a size large. I looked up comps on Poshmark and it looks like this. these similar style sweaters are going for like $25 to $30. Um, but yeah, it's got this big pocket in the front and you can put your cat in it. <laughs> so I tested this out on Leon and he sat in the pocket for a long time and purred and snoozed and he seemed to like it. So it's cat approved. Um, the only thing is my cat's so big. Leon is a really big cat, so I couldn't walk around with him in there. It's just sitting down in the pocket. But if you've got a little kitten, you need that. <laughs> um, next is this sweater and I think it is okay. It's Tommy Bahama and that's why I picked it up. Um, it has like this really nice texture to it and it's a zip front sweater in this like really pretty coral color. And I think it is, it's cotton modal spandex blend. So a good fabric content and it's just really soft. And I thought someone would want that Tommy Bahama, I feel like is more of an eBay brand, but anyway, that's a size medium. I probably priced it around 25 to $35 would be my guess. Okay. This is lucky brand. And it's a more substantial piece for Lucky Brand. That's why I grabbed it. I don't grab everything Lucky Brand as far as tops anymore. But this jacket I thought was really pretty. It's like this really nice knit, nice and thick fabric. And it's got like a little zip cuff. And it's zip front, but it's like a blazer style almost. Like Modo blazer style. And it's Lucky Brand size small. Probably listed around $25, $30. With fall around the corner, I figured I could sell that. So I grabbed it. Um, this next piece is dun dun dun. Okay, it's a size small, it's acrylic polyamide, but it has 5% alpaca in it, and that's why I grabbed it. I was trying to remember, like, what was the fabric content on this? But I think it's just HM, yeah, it's just HM, but it has like this ginormous cowl neck, and it's just like a comfy, cozy, wonderful little sweater. It almost looks like it has three fourths, no got to be full length sleeves, right? Yeah, I think it's full length. It's just the style of the sleeve. Um, this may be something I'd have to put on a mannequin to kind of model better or try on myself, but it's super duper soft and cozy. And that's why I got it. Okay. Next is, and I probably list that around 25, 30 because it has that, um, good fabric content. This is just banana Republic, but I think this also had a good fabric content. So I picked it up a nice um, cowl neck. You notice I'm prepping for fall. Um, with school starting in most parts of the country, people are thinking fall. So I want to provide them with what they want. So this is Merino Extra Fine Wool and Nylon Blend. And it's a size small, like turtleneck, 
cowl neck and it has like this ribbing here and here um anyway super pretty sweater oh and it has like the zip side so i don't always pick up banana republic either but i like the fabric content on this okay this i've actually had but i threw in this bag because it's comfy cozy it's just jewels and leopold and it's this really pretty eyelash knit fabric cardigan and um like a nice long cardigan it did have like one like discoloration but it's in the lining so it didn't really bother me too much so i still got that probably listed around 15 to 25 dollars Okay, now we have athletic wear. So this, this haul is just a little bit of everything. Um, so this is Athleta, size small. Here we go. And it's like, um, I guess this could be a swim top or workout top, depending on what purpose you want. I feel like it would serve both needs. But it's got like a little keyhole in the back. And it has the built-in bra. So I guess I could list this around $30 on Poshmark. Okay, this is a cute little nightwear set. It's two pieces. So it's the nightgown and the matching robe. And when you can find two piece sets like this, I feel like they're worth picking up. Um, even if they're not like a super great brand. I've actually, I don't know anything about that brand, but because it's two pieces, I think it's worth picking up. This was actually given to me for free, but I think it would be worth picking up at the bins just because it's a two piece set that actually matches. Okay, next is Victoria's Secret. You know, I like selling Victoria's Secret. This is just a size extra small, like crushed velvet nighty, and it has a cross back and like a scooping v-neck with lace detailing. And I'd probably price that around $25, $30. I have a pair of athletic pants. These are the Pure Lux by Fabletics, and they still have the tag, and they're a size small. And they have side pockets and ooh, i'm tempted to try these on because they are really cute oh and they have like a little crisscross detailing on the ankle okay it's like i'm surprised at what i found because i sourced this stuff last week and i haven't touched it since then so i'm like oh i don't remember getting this but these are in like new condition i would probably look up the style information about these to figure out how to price them but i'm guessing somewhere around 30 dollars and taking offers um little athletic wear tank top and there's no pull tag, so can we guess what the brand might be? Any guesses, any guesses? <laughs> it's Lululemon. And this has no size tag, so I'm gonna have to do measurements and like compare it with other items. Unless it sells on whatnot, then the person who buys it can figure out what size it is. But I'm guessing it's like a size small or six because it, it is a little smaller. But yeah, the cute detailing in the back, I like that. And in case you missed my other hauls, I everything I'm showing you, I'm gonna run on whatnot first at like extremely discounted prices. So like half to a third of what I would list it for online um, elsewhere. And I'm just giving deals on whatnot to kind of like refine down my haul so where I can have a manageable amount of things to list myself. So yeah, if you wanna shop my haul, I'll have the links down below so you can come and shop my whatnot show. This is Eileen West. I don't know anything about this brand. I picked it up based on style. I just think this is the cutest little like grandma core nightgown and it's like seersucker stripes with a ruffle hem. It's super lightweight and airy. It just feels nice. And then look at the little lace cutout detailing there. I thought that was really cute. Probably around 20, $25 on that. Um, and I don't know anything about the brand. If the brand brings more value to it, then maybe more, but, um, this is just Jillian and O'Malley. And I don't know that I meant to buy this at the bins, but alas, I did, but I still think I can sell it for like 10 to $15 on Poshmark. That's how I'd price it anyway. But it's like a black satiny robe with pink lining. It kind of looks like Victoria's Secret. And I think that's why I threw it in my cart. And then I forgot to take it out. But anyway, it'll still sell. It's a good little robe. Um, this also was kind of like a shot in the dark because I couldn't find exact comps on this. But I just thought it was kind of like it's a well-made athletic wear piece. It's Bang, like the energy drink, I think. And there's a logo on the back too. But look at this like nice crisscrossing detailing. And then it, it has a sports bra in it. I found like other items that were this energy drink brand on Poshmark. So I think I'd list this around $25 and see what happens based on what I saw. Um, next we have, I think this is pink Victoria's Secret. Yeah, this is a size medium, like extremely burnout pink Victoria's Secret top. 
and it's in really good condition size medium um i love selling victoria's secret it sells well for me i i i'm tempted to say it sells best for me on mercari because i feel like people save searches there but honestly it sells for me everywhere so i'd probably list it around 20 dollars and take offers on that um this is a new to me brand this piece it is bombas has anyone ever bought and resold this brand um so i looked this up and apparently this is like a rare colorway i don't think it's rare because i saw several <laughs> listed but they all said rare but it's just like a gray sweater with a kangaroo pouch and then the stitching is all different colors so they're like there's blue stitching here there's red or orange stitching in the hood and like a contrasting stitching on the edge but anyway it's like a very substantial heavy nice weight jacket oh it has a little side zip that's cool like a little hidden zipper oh no money bummer anyway it's a size medium it looks like i can list it for around 25 dollars um next is and i don't think i've ever found this brand before this is like aloe yoga i think is how you pronounce it i didn't even look up comps on this because i just remember hearing from other resellers that it was a good brand and it's so lightweight that i was like i will take a risk on this it's a size small and it has like this really cute side cutout detailing and like this mesh back detailing yeah that's really cute i might have to try that on because that would be good layered with other things but yeah probably sell it because <laughs> i don't need any more i don't need any more sports bras okay next we have a this is a new to me brand too i've never heard of it piquidig p-i-q-d-i-g but i did find a couple sold comps on this brand and it had pockets which athletic wear with pockets is something i'm always looking for so i figured other people are too so i decided to take a risk on this and i think i can list it for around 20 dollars and see what happens but yeah they're just shorts and honestly if these were my size i'd probably keep them there's the graphic has anyone had experience selling this brand before let me know because it's new to me oh no this was supposed to be in my show for tomorrow that i filmed yesterday okay so this is motherhood maternity size extra large swimsuit and i'm actually going to run this in my um mom and kids show that's tomorrow this was in the wrong bag oops so this might be gone by the time you see this video <laughs> i'm gonna run that in my whatnot show but i i would list that for around 25 or 30 on poshmark okay next is this cute top it's simply southern tie-dye um turtle tee and yeah it says simply southern down the arm one of my bins buddies gave this to me it is a size small probably listed around 15 dollars take offers simply southern isn't like a high selling brand but it usually sells fast so i do i don't mind picking it up um this is able made in the usa now y'all let me know is this the same able that makes like the quality leather bags that i've been seeing all over like instagram and youtube that all the influencers are promoting let me know and then it has this cute cuff on it and it's just like a henley thermal it kind of reminds me of free people's henley tops the inner tag it has been cut out oh no wait it just folded up um let's see what the fabric content is it's cotton rayon blend it feels nice okay next is this piece it's just columbia or no it's the north face size medium and it's just like perfect condition almost like like new condition just like a good basic if you're going hiking or doing outdoorsy stuff it's just the standard fit women's top and i just picked it up because it's it's in like new condition i could probably list around 15 or 20. um okay we've got a big robe here this was given to me and i figured i would list it it's from ulta it's a size small medium and it is super fuzzy and soft with these polka dots super cute i don't know how much ulta robes go for probably around 10 or 15 dollars but um for free 99 i will take it and resell it okay man there's a lot of stuff in here <laughs> wow okay so i have a slip this is a vintage slip i probably should have ran this in my vintage show yeah so every day last week i was like bringing this stuff home and like sorting it as i brought it home every day and then i didn't re-go through it all because it was just so overwhelming like i don't it's a lot of work to source that much and then sort it all and processing all this inventory with whatnot shows every day it's been a lot of work like i'm i'm exhausted 
I'm just here because I'm stubborn and I said I was gonna do this, so I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm exhausted. I just had coffee um, to help me film this video. So this is by Kaiser and it's nylon size 42 and it's a vintage nightgown. Look at how stunning that is. Like all that lace cutout detailing. Ooh, I just love a good vintage slip. Um, there's the hem. Really, really pretty. Probably listed around 25 or 30. Um, a size 42 is a bigger size too because it's just like the bust size. Normally I find like 32s and 36s. So that was a good size. Okay, The Simpsons. I got this because it was new with tags. The brand is The Simpsons and it retailed for 20 bucks, probably at Target or something. I'm not really sure. But I got it because it's like that nice tie dye and it's new with tags. I figured I could list it around, I don't know, probably around 15 since the tag on it says 20 <laughs> and just see what happens. Um, next is another new with tags top that's also probably from Target. It just says good vibes and it's very, very soft. Like the inside is so plush and so soft that I kind of want to keep this, but I don't need it. So I'm going to list it um, probably around 15 bucks. Um, with fall right around the corner. I think it's just time to stock up on those sweaters, whether they're bread and butter sweaters or, you know, more high-end expensive sweaters. Um, this is Under Armour, size extra small. And this can either be like athletic wear or lounge wear, but um, it's like slightly cropped. And I think it has thumb holes. Yeah, it has thumb holes in the arms and it has a little hood. So just a cute little active wear piece, size extra small, really like that. Um, I think this is more Under Armour. Yeah, more Under Armour, but this time it's an extra large and these are some shorts. Okay, so this could have ran in my plus size show too. And I was saying like, oh, I didn't find any extra larges. I did, I just sorted them differently. Cause at first I was planning on doing my plus size show with just plus size items. And then I wasn't able to find a lot. So I was like, let's add larges and extra larges too. And well, here's one. But anyway, these shorts are in really good condition. They have like the little lining in it these look like they barely been worn so i probably list those around 25 30 dollars but i definitely look up comps first um what do we have here oh yeah i forgot i found this y'all found patagonia the only downsize is it's embroidered with some kind of business i'm not gonna take the time to get that off i'm just gonna list it as is first i'll try to sell it on whatnot see if someone else wants to put the work into taking that embroidery off or just dealing with it but it's a Patagonia size large sweater. And if it doesn't sell on whatnot, I'm gonna list it, but I'm not really sure what the value is with that embroidery. Maybe just like 25 bucks. I don't really know. Um, if someone from that company is looking for one, that would be great, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, so these are like work pants, I think. They're Barco One work pants, size small. I feel like they're like nurses uniforms or like something like a veterinarian would wear. And this particular style, like the jogger style, seemed to be reselling for around 20 to $25 on Poshmark. So I picked it up. Not everything by this brand was, was good, but like the jogger style in particular seemed to be doing well. So I grabbed those. Um, next, ooh, this is pretty. So this is Pink Victoria's Secret, size large, and it says snooze mode. And guys, this is the softest thing. I don't know, it might be the softest thing I've touched so far and I've, I've touched some pretty soft stuff in this haul. Let me see what the fabric content on this is. It's viscose, that's why. So it's a viscose polyester blend. Um, it's just so soft and it's a size large. Like I said, I'd probably list this, I don't know, somewhere in that 25 to $35 range, unless it's like a bolo by Victoria's Secret. Some pieces end up being rare and hard to get. Okay, these are nice too. Another pair of Fabletics with the tag still in it. Size medium, um, nice little shorts. And what I like about these is they have like an outer part, but then they're lined. So this has got compression shorts in it with a little pocket in it for, I don't know if your phone would fit in there, but something would fit in there. So yeah, those are like, like new. That was a good find. I hate picking up Fabletics without the size tag on it and then trying to provide measurements and hope that it fits the person who buys it. Oh, so stressful. Okay, this is Under Armour, size small. And I picked it up because the hood has like the camo lining in it. And then the front also has the camo on it um, with the little kangaroo pocket. And it's in like new condition. 
I'm kind of picky with Under Armour, but this is an Under Armour Real Tree collab. So maybe I could get around $20 for that, $20 to $25. Um, is it a women's size? Yeah, I think it's a women's size small. Okay, just a few more things in here. Three more things to be exact. Okay, what do we have here? This is Adidas size small, and it's another athletic wear top. It has like um, reflective detailing on the sleeves. And yeah, it looks like all the detailing is reflective and it's like a little zip neck one. This will probably only go for like 15 to 20, but I grabbed it because it's Adidas and it's in really good condition. Okay, this is Victoria's Secret. It's a robe, it's one, one size fits all. And what I love about this is that the tie is actually attached. If you're a bin shopper, you know how it is to find robes at the bins that are missing the tie. And it does have pockets on both sides and hopefully there's no stains on it, but it is white. So I might find one when I go to steam it. But I think I could list that around 30 something dollars on Poshmark. Last piece is this Moo Moo. And I got it because, well, it's like a Moo Moo house dress robe thing, but it is only necessities brand size 2X. Um, and it has like this really fun embroidery in it. It's snap front, it's got pockets, like a seersucker fabric. Believe it or not, I sell this stuff all the time, <laughs> either on Poshmark or eBay, and I just love selling them. So I grabbed that as well, probably less that around $20. Okay, so that is my entire haul, but if you made it to the end of this video, I figured I'd share with you what I'm gonna be giving away on whatnot for this particular show. I have this cute little, um, it's, it's new with tags. It's all wrapped up folkloric Vera Bradley um like makeup holder not makeup jewelry holder so like when you're traveling and you want to bring your jewelry with you you bring this and it like zips down and you have all these little different compartments and it's magnetized so i think this is for jewelry let me know if you think this is for something else um but it's like just this cute little travel pouch and i like this print for vera bradley i think it's like really cute but anyway whoever makes the biggest bundle in my whatnot show for this particular sale is going to get this for free with their purchase so yeah i like to give away um items like that for the biggest purchase and then i do a i'm going to do a starbucks gift card giveaway as well for five dollars anyway shows will be linked down below if you want to come thank you so much for watching the end of this video i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow for my last haul of my five day series thank you for watching bye